thing. Yeah, so we're doing this one in voiceover. So on TikTok, I made this video. Do you want one for me too, Mrs. K? And and you all were like, uh. Okay, this is me going on a mini rant about how the video blew up. Big thank you, by the way. Because this makes her seem like a professional cosplay. Um, so yeah, some people were like, literally a single person. One person asked for this. Can you show us how you did this? Yeah, that's not what they said. They just asked for a tutorial. So that's what I'm giving. Also, yes, I said hi to my mom. And, yeah, you're also leaving up what you made. Oh, I made the Eddie cat. Okay, I'm gonna completely take over and voice over here. So basically, we're making the Eddie Casperac cast. I've already made it, but I did it on the wrong hand. So we're redoing it. This tutorial is to make a removable quick dry plaster cast. Okay, obviously this cast can work for Eddie, but it can also work for Hanson. Just make sure your cast is on the correct arm for your character. You're going to want to use two socks that you get two socks you're not using, preferably white and without black stripes, but we make do. For this, you're also going to need cheesecloth, which you can buy at the dollar store, plaster of Paris, which you can buy at most craft stores, and paper towel. You can also just skip a few steps and purchase a roll of the plaster cloth gauze. You're going to want to put those on your arm, and you're going to want to make the top of the sock near where your elbow with a little bit of wiggle room away from your elbow, and then you're going to want to cut a thumb hole and then cut them short if they are longer socks near the end so that your thumb and fingers stick out. Just a piece of information before we go forward, this is not a project you can um, do by yourself. You need a, another person to help you with it because you are casting your own arm. When you cut it, it should look like this. Please make sure to pre-cut your cheesecloth with one big piece for the main arm bit and smaller pieces for the bit going around your hand. Uh, remember to pre-cut because we forgot the first time and then we weren't able to do my um, hand and my thumb and stuff. Okay, remember the sock we cut before? That's going to be the sock that will actually become the cast later. Since we want this to be a removable cast, we are going to then put the other sock and some toilet paper and paper towel underneath, making layers away from your body so that you will be able to remove the cast from your arm once it's done. You're going to want to put the other sock that you have cut to match your hand over top of layers of toilet paper and material. You can see, I bring it up close, how much thicker it is away from my arm, from my actual arm. See? Mm -hmm. My actual arm. Where we're gonna put the cast. Okay, we're back. I took a break from editing this video, so this is a week later. This, this video is so boring to edit. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is figure out where you want the cheesecloth to go. Make sure it's on the right places before you actually put the cheesecloth on just to figure out if you want to add more cheesecloth or less cheesecloth. I've said cheesecloth so much while making this tutorial, I don't even know if it's a word anymore. You know in videos when they do these tutorial things and then they make it look like this all took like five minutes? We spent like a good solid seven minutes cutting out cheesecloth. This video is just cutting out cheesecloth. What the frick? Anyway, I can't really explain this part well, so I'm gonna let my past mom explain it for you. We've got a bowl. We've got... Quick drying plaster of Paris, which is going to get everywhere. So. Don't inhale plaster. Great advice for my sister. Because no, a thing of water. Never mind, someone forgot to explain what we were doing in these clips. I'm looking at you, mom. So now I have to come back and voice over. Now it's time to bring the cheese off. I am so sorry. Then you're gonna wanna take those bags of plaster Paris and you're gonna put them in a bowl. Yay! Great! Ah, fun. Like, oh, Don't forget your spoons. Spoons are important. I'm actually gonna use a fork. Okay, never mind, it's a fork. And this is how you can tell we're not professionals. Then you mix in the warm water. On the package, it will tell you how dry or wet it's supposed to be. In this video, we literally say that we made it too wet at first, so if you do, just add some more dry mixture. Okay, I made it really watery. We have more to add if it's too watery. Combine dry plaster of Paris and warm water and mix. It's like baking, guys, except it's baking something onto your arm. And 
We have to move fast because it's dry. Good. So. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. You move really fast. This, this is why you might need someone. You definitely need someone else because okay. it. You have to do this really quickly. So. So. You're gonna okay. code it. Okay. So I code it with the plaster of Paris. It catches in all the little edges and cracks. And then we paste it on. Like plaster. Like, Doing. I'm just kind of letting my mom explain this because I don't think I could explain it better. Okay, and then turn your hand again. And it's leaping everywhere. Okay, turn. Okay. There we go. And it's smooth. And we don't. We want to try and uh, smooth out the the edge. We don't want it to fold. Can make it really lumpy. So this is with gauze. This is actually how they used to do casts before. Um, I remember watching my brother get his cast when he was a little boy. He, they put a sock on his arm or something that looked like a sock. Mm -hmm. And they, and when he sat on my mother's lap and they did this. So we don't really talk at all during this, but I'm leaving it here um, in like slow motion as a guide for how you're supposed to do the hand bit because it's a little bit more tricky. Um, while you're watching this happen though, can I, t can I, can I just take a minute to appreciate uh, Baby Yoda? Because um, Baby Yoda is literally my life right now. I love that tiny baby. Anyways, okay, get back to the video. It's fine. I'm cool. I love Baby Yoda. Actually, never mind. This is really boring without sound. So I'm just going to keep talking about random subjects. And you can completely mute it if you just want to look at like my mom doing like the actual technique and stuff. Um, but uh, <laughs> I don't want to leave this here with like out any talking so I guess I should just like um I, I don't know what to talk about okay so let's go back to baby Yoda so first of all I want my children to look like baby Yoda like he is so freaking and then I my dad got Disney plus so now I'm watching the actual show and like oh my god he's so cute in the scene where he sips tea like mood man like I felt that on like a spiritual level anyways so now we're doing the fun part, which is really uh, a part that you should be careful about. Make sure that you everything is flat and all that stuff. You're putting a lot of so and on the it. plaster gets like I made it watery, but it thickens really quickly. Put your arm over the bowl because this is really gonna drip. It thickens really quickly, like it's already much thicker. So one of the reasons I know how to do this is because I work with pregnant women and we we make casts of pregnant bellies. <laughs> This is not at all important to anything. I just thought it was cool you could see my sister filming the close up in the video. And this is just a speed up video of us um, like evening it out and making sure everything is like um, has no bumps and stuff. I'm gonna actually start filming on my phone because my arm hurts. Yeah, cats really hurts. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Mine weighs a lot right now. So we reinforce that end. Now we're gonna do a thing called the waiting game. Yeah, so I'm not gonna lie to you, I waited for an hour and a half watching TikToks with my sister for this thing to dry enough to remove it from my arm. It takes a while. So, get yourself a Netflix movie and wait for your arm to dry. My family was making cookies. They were good. They were really good cookies. Uh, so it's been around an hour and 20 minutes and... I have two hands! Yay! Okay, so it's not fully dry yet, but I was able to remove it. Keynote, it will be a, di a little a little bit difficult to remove, um, just because obviously it's casted to your arm. So hold on, you have to show them this. So the extra stuff you didn't the keep on. The extra stuff? We did not, this did not stay on. Thanks there to the toilet the paper. One sock. There is one sock. Still attached. Yeah. One sock still attached. There's a bit of toilet paper in there that's coming out, but it will, as, as you wear it, it will come out a little bit more. Wow, I felt that toilet paper. Felt that. Get it? I'm gay. Anyways, that's how you make a cast. I hope this tutorial helped you. And um, also, if to do the writing and stuff, you can just use Sharpies. Or any, I would love to see the photos of you guys if this was helpful and you want more tutorials like this. Uh, yeah, that's not happening. This was the most boring thing I've ever edited. I'm sure that we would be happy to do more videos like this. Hi, future cat here. No, no is the answer. In the comments, just blast my mother with love because she's literally the best. We're gonna uh, go eat cookies now. I miss those cookies. You can also skip a few slep step sluts. You can skip a few sluts, guys. Baby, baby, Yoda. 
video, I have a problem. 